Hi everyone, so today here we have Risa and she's going to be our model so we can talk about taking your body measurements. Let's start! So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a tape measure. Now most tape measures come in cm and inches and we want to start with our centimeters. That's the one we prefer. There's no right and wrong, it's kind of up to you but we prefer it in centimeters. You also need to download our body measurements guide. That can be found on our website under measurements. What you'll see here is a whole form and you basically need to go accordingly to the form. The first thing you need to do is to get the dancer to stand with their feet apart or open parallel and then put your hands out to the side, your hands flat. Let's begin with the first measurement, the bust. Go around the biggest part of the chest and make sure that you're taking a clean measurement. Next, go around the waist. Always go to the smallest part of the waist and take the clean measurement. Going around the hips, go for the biggest part of the hips. You can take your time to make sure and adjust the measuring tape so that it's on the biggest round. So for the collar measurement, it really depends if you want to do a high neck, mock neck, or some people call it a turtle neck, or if you want to do just a base round collar. If you're doing a turtle neck or a mock neck, go around the middle of the neck. If you're not doing a high neck, go around the base collar of the neck. And this will give you a clean measurement, again, not too tight. Next, we're going to take the shoulder measurements. For the shoulder measurements, you're basically going to do from shoulder bone to shoulder bone according to the contour of the shoulder. Now, some people have a more narrow sliding shoulder, some people have what we call swimmer shoulder. Whatever it is, go according to the contour of the dancer. Look for the shoulder bone and go over to the contour of the shoulder down to the other shoulder bone. Now, why we don't want to take a flat measurement is because this is not the same for every dancer. So we want to make sure that we go over from one bone to the other bone. We're going to take the back length. For the back length, we're going to go from the middle of the shoulder down to the waist. So we'll be taking the armhole measurement. For the armhole measurement, again, you want to make sure that it's not too tight so it's comfortable for the dancer. Raise your arm up, put your measuring tape around and over and take the nearest measurement. For the upper arm, we basically want to take the bicep measurement. The biggest part of the bicep is usually just under the armpit below and just over to the front. The next measurement we want to take is the wrist measurement. So you want to make sure that you're going over the wrist bone. The last arm measurement that we need is going to be the sleeve length. What you're going to do is you're basically going to look for the shoulder bone, place a measuring tape there at the start and go all the way down to past the wrist bone. This is going to be the sleeve length. Next, we'll take the girth measurement. Have your dancer have your feet apart and open parallel. Go over to the center of the shoulder. Always make sure that you are tugging as much as you can. Not too tight and just take the closest measurement over. Again, we're doing in the center of the shoulder. We have the crotch measurement. Start from one side. Put the measuring tape at the back of the waist. Go over to the front and make sure that you have a clean measurement. So we're going to take the thigh measurement. Have your dancer cross her arm, go around the biggest part of the thigh. And then we have our ankle measurement. Go around the smallest part of the ankle. Next, we're going to take the pants and or the skirt measurement. That depends on your costume. For the skirt and pants measurement, start from the waist, come down. This is the mid-thigh measurement. Above knee, knee length, Below knee, mid calf, and full pants length. After you finish taking all your measurements, make sure to check them through and have your dancer's name and surname on the forms. Send them over to us via email, WhatsApp, or even Facebook message. And we'll check it through one more time just to make sure that everything is good to go. After that, just hang on tight for your costumes and we'll be happy to finish them. Until next time, see you soon.